Hello to my kind, lovely, intelligent, beautiful, and brilliant art family. I hope you're having a fantastic day. We have something here that has been used in the past. Oh, did you see it flash across the screen? Maybe. And it is a series of sorts that I hope you're enjoying. I'm enjoying it thoroughly. <laughs> it is a tiny sketchbook series. Now there's something cool and something special about this sketchbook. My sister-in-law, Sheila, made it and she is so good at making like handmade sketchbooks and journals and stuff. So I will link her Etsy shop down below if you want one of your own. It is called The Forest From Us To You. Now, I think this is gonna be a chill sort of art video today. I'm just gonna paint whatever I want or draw whatever I want, you know? Oh, I should say this is a watercolor sketchbook. That's why I said paint. Ooh, I should show you the supplies I plan on using, okay? See this massive baby right here? Well, this is my jelly gouache set. Probably shouldn't be tilting it like that, but I already did. I also decided it would be really fun to use my Arteza colored pencils. It's been a hot minute since I've used these, but they are amazing pencils. So yeah, we're gonna do that. And then here is my art bag. There's just random stuff in it. <laughs> totally missed the bag. Let's open these pencils. So colorful and happy. We like that. I think we'll start with colored pencils and just move this out of the way. I'll just be upfront with you guys. I don't even know what I feel like doing. <laughs> so we're gonna feel this out together and I hope you enjoy it. Alrighty, let's see where we left off. Do you remember this one? Aha, that was so fun. This one was very enjoyable. I think I want to do just like some fun doodly stuff, lighthearted things, you know? Art does not need to be perfect, but it does need to be fun, am I right? I'm thinking about designing a new Blubblefly pin. So I think I'm going to draw a concept. That's gonna be the first thing. If you're not familiar with my Blubbleflies, you're about to become familiar. This is something that you folks named in a video years ago and it became like a character for us. So if you're new here, join the club. This creature is for you too. Okay, let's do a little sketch -a rooney You know, gotta plan it out, map it out. Now I'm thinking with this blubble fly, I want to make it be purple. They're always blue and pink, but I feel like the purple ones should be like, I don't know, the fairies of the species or something. <laughs> Doesn't that sound fun? And they also have these like little bellies. So that's why it's like puffing out like that. It's what makes them so cute. Another thing that makes blubble flies cute, welcoming and friendly is their hearts. They're so big, they take up most of their bellies, which is why their bellies are so big. As far as the face goes, should I make it like, I don't know, like a gasping face? Or like a giant cheesy smile. I kind of think a gasping face. <laughs> I like it. Okay, let's block the colors in and then do some shading. I could blend this out with a paintbrush because this is like a watercolor marker, but I don't feel like it. Copic marker. Ooh, that's a lot brighter than I thought it would be. Do I have a pink marker in here? I do have my super adorable glittery washi tape that you can get at mirabiler.com. I think I'm gonna use this pink for the heart. Ooh, this is good. And then for the tongue, I will use that pink. Ooh, you are bright. All right, let's do some fun coloring now. Make this little guy have some variety about him. Cute. Okay, let's do some shading. You know what? You know what I think with all of this? We need to bump up the contrast. First of all, this half can be darker. Nice, nice. Now let's take this super dark pencil for the eyes. We want the face to be our focal point. So with that being said, the mouth needs a little bit of help too, don't you think? Mm, not that kind of help. What about you? 
There we go. It's like, <gasps> the question of the day that I want you folks to answer, what sound does a blubble fly make? So like, since you guys named them, like, please tell me what sound they make. <laughs> like this, this one here has like a <gasps> expression, but you've probably seen old stickers and pins in the past. They have like, and they have, you know, all sorts of expressions. So I'm curious what you think these little things would sound like. So this little heart also needs some help shading. And then gotta make those stitches darker, you know? There we go. He comes with a pencil sharpener. Woohoo! All right, now what should we do behind it? Usually it's like little stars. Maybe I'll stick to that theme. Okay, what to do for the background though? Maybe I'll do like a gradient thing. Yay, we have our blubble fly. All right, I have to take a moment to tell you folks about something that I have been working on behind the scenes for a long time, and I'm super excited about it, so I have to share it with you. So I have been working on new enamel pins for a really long time, and I'm so excited. So this one here has a bit of a fall vibe to it. It is called the Moonlight Moth. And I thought this one would be really fun because if you've been following my channel for a while, I love like butterflies and moths. I have another moth pin in my store and it's almost sold out and I just feel like, ah, I just want another one. <laughs> this one here is my Cozy Mocha pin. I am so excited about this one because you guys know me. I love like coffee and hot chocolate and just, all those cozy things in the fall. So I had to do this one. And it's kind of like a sister pin to the Sippy Whippy pin. So if you have that one, this one is kind of related. Now the other ones, Monstera Deliciosa. I have had several requests to do this one and after getting so many of them and one of my best friends also being one of the people who requested it. Hello, Carissa. <laughs> I decided it was time to do it. And I really love the way this one turned out. There are real holes in the pin to mimic a Monstera leaf. And the last pin here, I think, just kind of reminds me of the Blubble Flies in a way, even though they're not. This is the Slumber Party pin. And if you look at it up close, the cloud and the moon and the star all have cute little faces and they're just hanging out in the sky together, just taking a good sleep, you know? Like what more could you ask for? Anyway, I really wanted to share these with you because this is something that's been a little passion project of mine behind the scenes. And they are available now. So if you want one, you can go to mirabyler.com and get your pins. I'm not sure if that means like this video is sponsored by me. Did I sponsor my own video? I don't know. But yeah, this is exciting. I haven't released new pins in a really long time. I'm so excited to finally be releasing these right before the holidays. So yeah, you can go to mirabyler.com if you want one. We are officially halfway through the sketchbook. <gasps> That's so cool. Let's see, what color will this look like? Ooh, this is a good skin tone. Okay, I don't have many of these markers, but yeah. Ooh, you know what I should do? A page of fun swatches. This one surprises me every time because it is so bright. I'm not sure if that had a purpose, but thanks for uh, participating. So now I would like to do a fun little Daisy sketch. Because I've been watching Downton Abbey and Daisy is one of the characters. So naturally, I just, I don't know, I wanna draw a Daisy now. Okay, I want to bring a little bit of like 
pizzazz into this somehow. Okay, so I would like to have a little bit of shading up in here. Maybe bring some like blues in for the daisy. Okay, we're getting there with the daisy. Let's do the middle of the flower. So one might think I would be stopping here, but that is a complete lie. Yep, lie. So what I want to do next actually is to turn this into a little bit of a folk art thing. Oh, this is fun. It kind of reminds me of like some decorative thing I would see in uh, Princess Fiona's parents' castle. That's our cute doodly daisy. All right, folks, what do you think about busting out the gouache paint, eh, Ann? Do you see these handles on this thing? <laughs> I don't know that I would ever trust like picking it up by these. Would you? Like, I mean, knowing that there's like 56 colors in here. I don't know, should we try it? I'm just gonna lift it like an inch. Oh, I don't think I trust that. No, <laughs> no, nope, nope, not again. Not a repeater, unless I'm doing that. Here's our beautiful palette. Ugh, I just love this. It's so satisfying. Don't judge me for this crusty palette. <laughs> We're gonna use it. <laughs> Artists can be lazy sometimes, it's okay. We are going to do a moth. Thing is, it's gonna stretch on both pages, so it might look a little weird in the middle. That's okay. Okay, this is gonna run off the page just a little bit, but that's okay. We'll have grace. I'll have some grace with myself. Not everything is perfect. Okay, so this is a moth and I think this one would be really fun because of the bright colors. I want to make it a bright, happy painting. So let's block some things in, shall we? Ugh, oh, this color is so pretty. I hope that this piece feels magical. By the way, if you wanna know where I got the reference photo for this, I got it on Pixabay. You can just search moth and a bunch of them pop up. And Nature Lady posted it. Sometimes it's hard to know who took the photos, but that's their username. Do a little rinsey rinsey. All right, so the next color of these flowers is red. Are you ready for this? I should have left those puns in last week's video. That got out of hand. Oh, this is so fun. I'm really enjoying it. Okay, so this moth has some purple markings, which I am delighted about. We're gonna embrace it fully. I'll fix that wing later. <laughs> okay, you know what? I think I actually need to do a little bit more purple. <gasps> Not that, oh no, oh no. Oh, accidents happen. All right, now let's do the greenery. All right, at this point, I think it is a good time to start adding details to the moth. How exciting. All right, the little wing overlap. Oh, this is so fun. Uh, 
I am so excited to use this like fluorescent pink. There we go. So I also would like to try to use some of this within the moth. I don't know. Not like that. We should do some more stuff in the background. What do you think? Come along with me for an art adventure. Ah, oh, this one is so therapeutic. I just love painting flowers. Now a few other fun things that we should do. Some like little twinkles. That's the same color as the moth. You know what? I need to do one more thing. There's these like little golden antenna. Look at this cutie. All right, that was so fun. So this last one here that's drying, uh, I think it's my favorite, for real. It's just so cheerful and I love moths. And now I kind of want to try to make this into a larger painting. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sometimes it's really nice just to do tiny, doodly projects, especially when I've recently finished a really large painting like that giant ocean painting that I did like two or three weeks ago. Life has still been pretty busy getting settled into our house. So yeah, little things like this are sometimes stress relieving and super enjoyable. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you are new to this series, I will link the rest of this particular series down below because we have finished half of the sketchbook. That is exciting. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you created anything, as always, you are totally free to tell me about it down below. You guys always wow me when you tell me about the creative things that you're doing in your lives. This room is like 90 degrees right now, so I'm calling it quits for the day. Oh, one more thing, a purple blubble fly pin will probably be coming, which means naturally a purple blubble fly sticker will probably be coming. And yeah, if you want any of my new pins, you can go to mirabiler.com to get them. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.